Have you ever wondered why Christians call the day when Jesus died Good Friday? It's surely not a good thing that Jesus died on a cross. Well, in a book of the Bible called Mark, we have four clues, all beginning with C, that help us understand why it's Good Friday. This is the cross in four C's. The first C is the clouds. Okay, I've cheated a bit here. It's not really clouds, it's darkness. But darkness doesn't begin with a C. Here's what Mark says. At noon, the whole country became dark and the darkness lasted for three hours. So when Jesus was on the cross, it went dark from midday to three o'clock in the afternoon. And not just a bit cloudy, not even an eclipse. It was properly, not normally dark when Jesus died, right in the middle of the afternoon. Now in other places in the Bible, like Exodus, Ezekiel and Amos, darkness like this is a sign of God's anger. So the darkness, or the clouds, tell us that God is angry. Now that makes sense, doesn't it? God's son has been killed on a cross. God is right to be angry about that. So there's our first clue. God is angry. But it doesn't explain why it's Good Friday. It doesn't sound like Good Friday, but God is angry. Well, let's look at our next clue. And this one is a bit of a surprise. The next C is the cry. As Jesus dies, he shouts something from the cross. Mark tells us what it is. At three o'clock, Jesus cried in a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani. This means, my God, my God, why have you abandoned me? Jesus cries out, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani, which means nothing to us if we don't speak Aramaic. Thankfully, Mark tells us what it means. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? Jesus is using words here from a song in the Bible called Psalm 22 about a man who is surrounded by his enemies and feels like he's going to die and feels abandoned by God. Go and read Psalm 22 and you'll see how similar it is to what happened to Jesus when he died. Well, here's the big shock of the cross. Jesus feels abandoned by God. God's anger that the clouds tell us about seems to be at Jesus. That's what our next clue tells us. The cry tells us that God is angry at Jesus. But why? God loves Jesus. Jesus has never done anything wrong. So why is God angry at Jesus? Well, we need our third C to work that one out. The third C is the curtain. Mark, in his story, quickly rushes across Jerusalem to the temple. This is where people went to worship God. In the temple, there was a huge curtain that blocked the way to where God lived. It was a big no entry sign. It reminded people that God was perfect and they weren't. It reminded them that because we don't love God or other people as we should, that we can't be friends with God, we can't live with him. But when Jesus died, something amazing happened to the curtain. The curtain in the temple was torn into two pieces from top to bottom. That's right, when Jesus died, that huge no entry sign was taken away. The curtain ripped from top to bottom. God got rid of it. What happened? Well, we need to remember our first two C's. The clouds tell us that God was angry. Jesus' cry tells us that God was angry at Jesus. The curtain tells us why. Jesus on the cross was taking the blame for the wrong things that other people like you and I have done. And that means that we can be forgiven. Our sin, which the curtain was a big reminder of, has been taken away. Now we're starting to see why the day when Jesus died is called Good Friday. Jesus took the blame for the wrong things that we've done so that we can be forgiven. 
And the fourth C shows us why this is such good news. The fourth C, the last C, is the centurion, the Roman soldier in charge of nailing Jesus to the cross. Mark says, when the centurion who was standing in front of the cross saw what happened when Jesus died, he said, this man really was the son of God. The centurion realizes that Jesus is who he said he was, the son of God. Amazingly, the first person to believe in Jesus after he died is one of the soldiers who helped kill him. And it shows us that because Jesus died, now anyone can know God. No matter who we are, no matter what we've done, if we believe in Jesus, we can be forgiven and we can be friends with God. This is great news. It's the best news. And it's why we call the day when Jesus died Good Friday. So there you have it. That's the cross in four C's. The clouds show us that God was angry. The cry shows us that God was angry at Jesus. The curtain shows us that God was angry at Jesus because he was taking the blame for others so that we could be forgiven. And the centurion shows us that now anyone can know God, all because Jesus died on the cross on that first Good Friday. That's the cross in four seats.